The first reptiles lived in today's Australia. They are theirs the traces are 350 million years old. Traces of the oldest reptile have been found in Australia. They are coming along early carbon and is 350 million years old. This means that the evolution of reptiles has begun it will be at least 20 to 30 million years earlier and in a different part of the world than it showed. From the existing finds shows the publication in Nature with the participation of the pole. It seemed that about the animal's exit to land and evolution we know vertebrates a lot. Meanwhile, only the only one has been described the well-known trace from the early carbon documenting life on Gondwana the pre-continents from which South America emerged, Australia, Africa and Antarctica. And this trace shows that the first reptiles lived in the hemisphere southern 20 to 30 million years earlier than in the northern hemisphere. And what is the same the dispersion in the evolution of amphibians and reptiles took place earlier than previously thought. The publication on this topic appeared in the journal Nature. In Australia, the cold months have finally come when snakes, spiders, or scorpions took refuge in their hiding places, and the risk to the venomous bite during the trek in the wastes was the smallest. Two of us the adventurers, minerals, and fossils there set off to hiking inaccessible people in areas near Australia the plains of Snowy Plain. Men cooned, among others, belonging to private ones owners of the areas of dried rivers and searched for fossilized casings of ancient the fish. The owners of these areas are reluctant to the seekers. It happened that uninvited guests and thanks for visiting were thrown venomous bag the snakes. But the men knew how to act. During one of the hikes they came across an interesting piece of sandstone, on which the footprints were visible some kind of prehistoric creature. Collectors had a feeling that it was something interesting, they took a piece of rock with them 30 cm x 40 cm and asked a friend a paleontologist for help with determining what it is. CO author of the research Dr. Grzegorz Niedzwiedzki from Swedish the University of Uppsala and the National Geological Institute PIB explained that in the rock you can see the prints of the front and back paws of the animal, which is quite agilely moved on land on narrowly seated limbs. On the stone you can see no traces of the stomach pulled on the ground or the tail. The creation could it was about 30 to 50 centimeters, so it was the size of a large lizard. The fact that the animal is it was no longer a amphibian evidenced by the presence of keratin claws and elongated fingers characteristic of reptiles. Fossilized traces are dated to 350 million years, early Carbonif. It seemed that this was not the time of reptiles. After meticulous research, it turned out that it was the oldest on the world's mark left by the Demiridant. Ohydrides are a collection of animals, to which both reptiles, birds, and mammals belong, but no longer amphibians. In the development their embryos appear fetal membranes, which allows the development of young regardless of the aquatic environment in this case they can lay eggs on them it's on the land. The find from Australia is the oldest document of existence an animal that was no longer an amphibian, so you could say it's the first the known reptile. The reptiles separated from a slightly different evolutionary branch than mammals, so some ancient deniers were not reptiles yet, nor the prasos. So it turns out that the oldest known reptile could live on the area of today's Australia. Until now, such organisms have been found in the hemisphere northern, for example in Canada. It was dated to 320 million years. The new find it shifts the chronology of the evolution of reptiles by at least 20 million years back. The reptile has not yet been given a species name scientists won't give it a name only when there are petrified bones. We have to be open to such breakthroughs. Thanks to the science we are gaining an increasingly accurate picture of the world, but we must be prepared that thanks to the next discoveries, this image will change. It's not that we've already put all the puzzles together. We have a few. The need for research conducted in different corners of the world, so that we can get an ever fuller picture of how once it looked like life and how it evolved summed up Dr. Niedzwiedzki.